Welcome back to the Fantastic Marble Race Cup. I'm Flame Vapor. And I'm Marble Racer with over seven subscribers, Austin Eastwood. After a first place finish from Navy in the previous leg, the other marbles are clambering to get into the top eight and score points to get into the A division of this tournament. Hey, there's tough competition. These are some of the best of the best, and by that I mean they are some of the most common colors. Indeed. Anyways. The marbles are in the gates and are just about to start, so let's head over there. The marbles are off once again in the switch course. Why is it called the switch course? Well, you see, everything that's moving, basically, is switching back and forth in their directions. The spinners at the top, the bar beneath that, the escalator type thing beneath that, and the bars in the bottom right quadrant. There are a few things that are going in one direction the whole time, though. See if you can spot them. Orange, Navy, and Cyan take the top three spots at this point. Meanwhile, black, green, magenta, and purple are toward the back. Uh... Bottom right quadrant is known for having a lot of marbles get bunched up in the corner. Hopefully these marbles can avoid that. Hopefully. Navy tries and fails to get into the finish line. I have no strong opinions about that. White finishes. Navy finishes. Woohoo! Uh, I mean, um, uh, good job. Yeah. Seems as though yellow and purple are the only two marbles that are still in the top portion of the leg. Tan has just made it down. And purple's making progress now. Meanwhile, forest and pink finished. Uh, a slight jam in the bottom corner there allows green to jump over everyone's head and finish. Yep. Yellow's making progress alongside purple. Tan knocks orange into the finish, and also knocks blue into the finish. That was very quick compared to the last one. Indeed. And with that, the second qualifying race has concluded. It has. It was a good race. I liked it. So, at this point, Navy, White, Cyan, Forest, and Orange all have guaranteed a spot in the A division meaning there are only three other spots up for grabs. Conversely, red, yellow, purple, brown, and gray are all eliminated from contention to be in the A division. That leaves pink, green, blue, tan, black, and magenta all vying for a spot in the eight that move on in the A division rather than the B division. What happens if... All the people in the middle finish in the top eight, and all the people on the left don't. In the event of a tie between marbles in the divisions, a tiebreaker round will have to be played. Cool. I want to mention that Magenta placed 10th this round, right after Black. Magenta seems to be pretty average. Wasn't able to come up clutch this time, though. Yeah. And Tan, Tan's performance was much worse than before. Seems like something was weighing on his shoulders, you know? Like he wasn't fully to able to be to be light on his feet, you know? It it's he seemed to be less agile than before. And yeah. in fact, he actually pushed two competitors into the finish line. Mm -hmm. is, is that part of his strategy? I don't know. He was in third last for a majority of the leg. Yeah. And purple this time. They didn't do well either. They were stuck in the top section along with yellow for a majority of the race and only got down to the bottom when it was too late. It seems as though Purple just lost all motivation after coming so close so many times in the first qualifying leg. But anyways, that's all the time we have for today. See ya, Marble fans!